Okay, you're going to graph the system out, and what are you going to see? You're going to see an hyperbola, and you're going to see an ellipse. Um, after you do that, though, certainly I do recommend, as we've done in the past, is to solve the system to find the points of intersection. And if you do, if you do solve that system, you're going to find out there's four points of intersection. And uh, we are now looking at graph 236. This is graph 236. We'll see those four points of intersection as specified over here. What point are we seeing? 2, 3. We're seeing 2, minus 3. We're seeing minus 2, 3. This one over here. And we're seeing minus 2, minus 3 over here. We're seeing those points. OK, I can't say this enough times. It's really in your interest to solve the system as we've done in the past. Right, get those four points of intersection. It's also in your interest to graph it, to visualize those solutions, as we've done in the past. This is really nothing new. All right. Now, what might be new is um, the concept of graphing by hand, which I find tedious. However, you can get a general idea of what something looks like, and hopefully over time it's quite quick. That's why I'm looking at these things. Now, you know, Over time, I recognize the first one, uh, equation 2x plus 5y squared equals 53 as being an ellipse, and I recognize the second one as being hyperbola. Now granted, if I had to graph this out by hand, it would take more time. This is why I do recommend using a machine. And what I do, graph out the hyperbola, and I graph out the, um, the ellipse. The four points of intersection, though, if I had a really good graph, I probably could read it from the graph, but I wouldn't be convinced of it until I checked it in the original system, which I recommend you doing. What have I been doing, though? I haven't been checking them. What I've been doing is solving the system, finding the points of intersection, and then verifying that the graph does give me those points, once I know what the points are, by the way. Thank you.